Shalom, shalom unto the whole house of Yasharal and unto the strangers and the foreigners who were found within our gates. I am Yasharal Yahu, and I am your host for yet another scripture study and another discerning of the word of Yahuwah. Um, I, of course, want to say that I hope that your families are safe. I hope that your children are safe. Uh, you guys are all in good health, and uh, either you're resting or you are studying the Thurah of Yahuwah on this Shabbat day of rest. I want to say that uh, next Shabbat, amen, next Shabbat, July 16th, is in fact the Feast of the Harvest, Shabuah as it is known in the Yahudian language, amen. So um, I hope that you guys are preparing uh, to honor Yahuwah on this appointed time. Me personally, I will be uh, baking some bread, making an offering by fire unto Yahuwah, doing as he commands. Amen. Um, as we get into our scripture study, I just wanted to say that, see, I was scrolling just the other day and just looking around and just that and the third, you know, on, online and everything. And then the word of Yahuwah came unto me from Thalium Psalm. Uh, 124 verse 7 um, if you don't know what a snare is a snare by definition is in fact a trap um, when a hunter goes hunting he will set a trap for whatever game he is trying to hunt many times in life people will set traps or set a snare for you um, whether they lie about, lie on you, whether they uh, just don't like you, or whatever it may be, they oftentimes will try to bring you down, amen? Before we get into the word, though, let us uh, have a quick prayer. Father Yahuwah, humbly I pray that this word, that your word will go forth into the, the minds, unto the ears, unto the readers and hearers and doers of your word, that they may be baruched that they may be blessed, that it may enrich in their lives, that they seek you, seek your face diligently, that they know the power of your set apart name, to call on, to call upon it, that they may be as you have saved me. Amen. Father Yahuwah, it is in the mighty name of Yahuwah that I pray this word goes forth and it enriches the lives of those who hear it and they shall acknowledge you in all of their ways. May you grant favor, blessings, and barakah unto the readers, hearers, and doers of your word. Basham, Yahusha, Amen. Okay, Mash, Pacha. Um, let us get into the word real quick. I want to read Thalium Psalm 124. And it reads, If it had not been for Yahuwah, who is on our side. Now may Yasharal say, if it had not been for Yahuwah who is on our side, when men rose up against us, verse three, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us, verse four, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, verse five, then the proud waters had gone over our soul, verse six, Baruch bleat, Yahuwah, who has not, who did not give us as a prey unto their teeth. Verse 7, our soul is escaped as a bird of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Verse 8, our help is in the name of Yahuwah, who made the Shamayim and the earth. Um as a title for today's uh, discerning of the word, scripture study, whatever you may want to um, designate it as, the snare is broken. Amen. The snare is broken. Um, in life, we find that uh, uh, many people we thought were our friends. Um, it does not matter if it's those people of your household, even family members are or can be enemies. Amen. Yahusha says in the renewed covenant that 
the enemies of a man are those of his own household. So what I'm basically, basically looking at is that I want to um, say unto you guys today that Yahuwah showed me that the snare is broken. And I have come to say that whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're facing, whatever trap the enemy has set for you is no more. It is broken. It will be a hindrance to you no more. It will stop you no more. There is no obstacle that is going to be in your way. It is in the name of Yahuwah that you call upon, that you have researched, that you have studied for yourself. It is his thura that you have looked at line upon line, precept upon precept. You have studied to show yourself approved. So says Yahuwah, those who call upon my name shall be saved. Amen? So I have just come to say that the snare of the enemy is broken. You see, when Yasharal left Matsarium, Egypt, when Yahuwah brought us out, all of our armies with a strong hand, there were still those who lay in our path to destroy us, who came out as enemy, who set traps for us. But what did Yahuwah do? In all our comings and our goings, as we lay, as we rose, as we went down that path, as we traveled that road, Yahuwah made sure that our enemies were no more. Even I can attest, can bring testimony that on my job, Yahuwah dismissed, Yahuwah removed my enemies, those who sought my livelihood to take it from me that I could not provide for my children. Yahuwah made sure that he removed them from my path, man. If you have been on the receiving end of such a blessing that Yahuwah has removed the enemy, has removed the snare of the fowler from your path, and you should shout, that you should scream, dance, and boogaloo all around the place because Yahuwah is worthy. Amen. Again, I say the snare of the fowler, of the trapper, has been broken. You, Mash Paka, can shout and scream for joy, can Baruch Yahuwah because he is worthy. He has removed that obstacle from your life. Amen. So as we as we look, as we see, and we can we can look at Thalian Psalm 124. As I just read, we go to verse 4 real quick. The waters had overwhelmed us. The stream has gone over our soul. In the Yaudi language, um, water can also be uh, uh, seen as chaos. A man, um, when you look at uh, the things that some people will do, the level to s at which some people will stoop to try and and bring you down, that is the chaos that has gone over your soul. It means it has not taken you out. It has not caused you harm. It may may it may have made you a little uncomfortable, but Yahuwah did not allow it to be your end. Amen. So it has gone over your soul. Amen. Um so in this regard we should Baruch and bless Yahuwah in our comings, in our goings, in our in our rising, in our slumber. Bless Yahuwah because he has removed the trap. He has removed the snare of the fowler, a man. And our soul has been escaped. We did not fall victim to that. A family member has has um seen what you are becoming. A friend has seen what you are doing. Uh, a co-worker has seen where you are going. And they have such animosity towards you that what they have done, they have meditated on malicious thoughts. 
to try and stop your progress. But I say that the devil is a liar. They shall not stop you. For Yahuwah is your help. Yahuwah is your strong tower. Yahuwah is your fortress. Um, a witness unto Thalim Psalm 124 is in fact Thalim Psalm 91. Um, of course, you can read the entire chapter on your own time, but let us consider the, the, the summation of Thalim Psalm 91. A thousand may fall by your right side, ten thousand at your left side, but know that it shall not, as Yahuwah say, come nigh unto you. For those that abide in the shadow of the Almighty Yahuwah, you shall abide in peace. His feathers shall cover you. A man, Mashpaka. He will deliver you. He will protect you. As I said, when the Yahudim, when Yasharal came up out of Matsarium, out of Egypt, he protected us. He delivered us over the Reed Sea or Red Sea. We went through the danger. The danger did not overcome us. The danger did not overwhelm us. The danger did not consume us. A man, another witness unto uh, Thalium Psalm 124 is Raumaayim Romans chapter 10 verse 13. And it clearly says, it plainly says, they who call upon the set apart name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Understand that um, Acts, Acts uh, 4 speaks and says, there has been no other name given under the Shamayim, under heaven, by which man can be saved. So when you call upon the set apart name of Yahuwah, know that you will be saved. Call upon any other name, you are calling upon destruction. Call upon Yahusha, you shall be saved. Call upon Yahuwah, you shall be saved. No other deviation, no other abbreviation, no other translation, transliteration can be used. Only the name of Yahuwah, in the mighty name of Yahusha, by which you call, by which you study, by which you take for yourself, as in fact, your refuge will you be saved, man. So our soul is escaped. We have been saved. Our strong tower is Yahuwah. Our fortress is Yahuwah. Man, I say unto you today, the snare of the fowler has been broken. You are no longer bound. That obstacle will no longer, is no longer in your path. Man, you are free. Yahuwah has done the impossible that you thought not possible. Yahuwah has did what? He made a way. A man, what did he say in Yahshua Yahu, Isaiah? He said, I, Yahuwah, will make a way even in the wilderness and waters in the desert. Your way has been made. The path has been cleared. And I see and pray unto Yahuwah for favor in your life. I just wanted to come with this uh, quick discerning of the word of Yahuwah just to say that on this Shabbat uh, we are resting, we are studying the word, and we are just basically relishing in the fact that Yahuwah is working for us. He is on our side. Those of us who seek out his face diligently, those of us who know his set-apart name, he is working for you. And um, um, those of us who abide in his truth, not the truth of ourselves, of our own opinions, of what we think, as scripture says again, lean not into thine own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Yahuwah. 
and he shall direct our path. I mean, again, I look at this scripture and he says that uh, uh, when the enemy, a man, when the enemy rose up against us, he did not give us as prey unto their teeth. He saved us from their advances, from their destruction, from their traps, from all of the wicked devices they had planned for us. Amen? So wherever you are, wherever you may be, uh, on this Shabbat, it is, you know, really beautiful out here. It's just nice. Um, I say that, uh, again, thank Yahuwah, for he is worthy. Again, I say, as always, I am no apostle. I am no prophet, I am no guru, I am no teacher, I am simply a servant of Yahuwah, that he be esteemed in all that I do. Seek Yahuwah. Um, I thank you for tuning in to the yet another discerning of the word of Yahuwah. And again, may all of your lives be brewed. But I want you to know, here and now, that Yahuwah has removed the snare of the fowler, he has removed that obstacle. But forever in the day, seek Yahuwah that he may baruch and bless your lives. His word, his thura will enrich you. His thura is perfect for correction. And um, I just wanted to deliver this word because Yahuwah is worthy. And I want you to know that whatever you're dealing with is done. In the mighty name of Yahusha, it is done. You, Mash, Bacha, are free. Amen. Let us end with a quick prayer. Father Yahuwah, humbly I pray. And I want to thank you for this word. I want to thank you for this worship experience. I want to thank you that you have delivered unto us a word of encouragement, a word that can be mistaken not but that a word that says that you are on our side, you are our strong tower, you are, you are our fortress. And that the wiles of the evil one have no effect. That you would allow us to tread upon young lion and serpent. That you, Yahuwah, are our help. That you said that all of this destruction, all of this chaos shall not come nigh unto us. Father Yahuwah, I, I hope and pray that you would give blessings and barakah unto the readers, hearers, and doers of your word. By Sham Yahusha, a man. Mashbaka, again, I want to say that next Shabbat, July 16th, is in fact Feast of the Harvest. And I hope you guys are preparing to, uh, you know, honor Yahuwah in your ways. Um, this appointed time, this harvest, we are just looking to, to, to bless and to be blessed, man. So, again, I say I hope that your families are safe. I hope that your children are safe. I hope that you are safe and you are are resting or studying the thura of Yahuwah on this Shabbat. And until next time, I bid you peace. Go in love and always seek Yahuwah. Amen.